Another question about Bootstrap Studio. Um, by any chance, could you do a video on how to remove add style sheets to pages in Bootstrap Studio? I'm trying to make a multi page website, but I'm unable to choose which style sheets apply to specific pages. So I ended up with a problem trying to style one page, but both or many get affected by the change I make. Uh, also, about the proper style sheet management technique used when creating websites. Um, I did a CSS um, introduction a few weeks ago about how the external style sheet is the lowest in the hierarchy in line um, um, when you put it into the head of a document is the next and then like sort of your inline which is in your actual element is the most powerful but all have disadvantages in some ways anyway I'll show you this okay so we create a new design what I'm going to do there is go to bootstrap 3.37 because it's got these pitches up okay right what I'm going to ask for you guys is if you having the same problems as me because I did some I did a couple of dry runs of this and I've had so many difficulties uh, trying to work this thing out um, so you have this as your you know, you've probably seen this many million times when you open up a, a Bootstrap Studio thing anyway. So anyway, what I've done there is duplicate that, okay? And obviously it works there. But when you try to go down to here on the pages and create a new page and you just untitled it'll do, you know? So we'll go here, untitled, and mine's lost. Um, I've gone around the, like, sort of copy and paste and like on, on the um, London page or whatever I'm doing. And that also is not picking up on the CSS, okay? So what I'm going to show you, if there is a problem with what you are finding as well on yours, please tell us and I'll get on to the uh, Bootstrap Studio development team because that shouldn't happen. And really when you're doing, um, I thought the multi-page uh, system had all been cleared up with Bootstrap Studio. I, I know it used to be. Because the only you could when it, when you first got this uh, app, you could only do one page, and then I did a video on about how they you know this they did a uh, sorted that out, and then you could do multi pages. But with all honesty, I, I kind of I, I don't know I don't know what's happened here because when I'm exporting it, there's only the index page going to do it, and that's just no good at all. So. And here as well, if you see the sentence and you see this thing here, which is the fourth uh sas that's just the you know you've got it's next to head content and export and sas which sas is uh css where you can actually use functions and uh variables as well so it's like a between it's it like makes css more powerful and some of the things that are like in a programmer language like functions and variables but that is for when you're doing multi-sites, when you're doing quite a lot of pages as well. Um, doing one page, I never use it. But when you're doing quite a few, so really you've got the setting there to do lots of pages in Bootstrap Studio. So I'm not sure what the problem is, whether it's just mine. Um, that's why I want you to, to tell me if you're seeing the same thing. Anyway, I'll just do this convert to Bootstrap Studio and, that, and that's converted, okay. And we're just going to export this, okay right and browse and i've also i've already got a, the bootstrap folder set up there select okay so we're just going to export that okay x your design is exported save so i'm going to do this in um a code editor really just because i cannot i can use bootstrap studio to do what i need um and again, is it, if this is your problem, if you're having the same difficulties as me, please get in touch. You, we shouldn't be three years down the line with this thing and, and it's still having that problem. Okay, so just go to index.html, okay? And this should be the landing page, yeah. Okay, so we could do this. Um, okay, so you can you go right-click, select all, or you can just do Control-A. All right, and just copy go back to workspace and i've got this second html and the third html as well so the second one is this um so what i'm going to do is just copy that okay 
so control V will do okay so we just save the changes there and that should come up over there okay and the third page as well okay third HTML and we'll do exactly the same thing there all right okay so when you're talking multi pages that could be anything really but uh the most website i think i've used uh when i've been working on one is uh, 37 38 pages i think it was the most i'm got at the moment is 17 pages but okay so we'll start with the the index okay the index page here and if we go into some of these things um and we just do so the you know the nav um class nav nav bar light um expand just this row here okay when you've got a class so you've got a class here navbar etc you cannot use another class so you have to use id right id equals quotation marks and um we're just going to put in um i don't know app okay right save those changes we go to user CSS okay and then we're just going to put in uh, up hashtag up and we're just going to put in background color on this one okay BGC which is Emmet and we're just going to put hashtag F90 okay so you'll see that there save those changes okay so there you go so you've got that there the mobile app so you got that changes on the index one okay now for the second one okay we're just going to do the same thing again finding this nav bar all right and again id id equals up to okay file save that go back to the user CSS okay and uh, right the way down here make it all neat so in again hashtag up to curly brackets and uh, we're going to just put in that BGC and we're going to just put in uh, well, I'll tell you what, put that in there. I'm going to put in pink. Okay. I actually like pink, even though I'm a boy. All right. So we see this in the second HTML here. So there again, it's pink. So you're just using that one uh, CSS. Okay. You're not using any more than that. And I, my advice to anybody is use as, as minimum as possible so you don't get mixed up with all the files and things like that. So we're back to the th uh, go to the third one and again we look up this is just a demonstration of how you can change all your um you know you can do whatever you want on your page i'm just using this as the nav bar and again id and equals in the quotation marks just put up three okay save them changes go back to the user and you can actually drag this up here user and we just go to down the bottom where everything is you see bootstrap studios put all that stuff in there right right up here loads of things there okay so the stuff that you're doing you know the um again hashtag app three um is all down the bottom and, and it's all like neat neatly placed so you know which ones you've done yourself okay so again back background uh bgc for this one and what color can i use for this and i would just put in line okay so that'll be line green file again save changes a third one there and then you've got that okay so you got the second and you got the index second third page okay right so i hope that's um 
you know, I hope you understand everything about what I've just done there. You can, of course, call them, you know, you don't have to call them apps, you can call them wherever you want. Um, but as long as you know in your head what you're trying to do as regards name and things, it's always a good good thing. Um, when you're saying about the technique, um, I would always say, and, and like, um, I say, do as I do, not, um, but the same, do as I say, not as I do, because like sometimes when you've seen, if you've seen some of my videos, I do put a, in Bootstrap Studio, I put the style actually in the um, in line or the, um, you know, in, in the actual bit here. So for example, I could put style equals and the quotation marks there. So even though in the user thing for this one here, this is the uh, third HTML, okay, I put up three there, I put line. But if I put that as style, background color, okay, and I put red, red will always trump the external one there, okay? So if you go file, save that, reload, and there you have red, because that is the hierarchy of CSS. Inline will trump everything else. So external ones is good for when you're using a lot of multi pages, like you're saying. Um, you know, I would always go external. There's there's nothing wrong. You know, I mean, <laughs> there's there's not nothing really wrong. If a designer, I mean, this is the the technique that people say about always go external if possible but some designers don't want to do that and there's no great argument against it apart from that you're you know yourself i like neat code do you know what i mean um and and when i'm done with things myself i sometimes get bogged down by putting styles in line and it's not really good practice and, and the best way to do it is uh, is external if you took this out here okay we're just take this style out here okay right and we do a style in the head okay so go style I was trying to uh, emit there but the emit plugin isn't seems to work on here at the moment okay style and we're just going to put that um we're just going to put the, again, ID, I'll put an ID in there, okay? Again, the ID equals up, uh, up three, I think that was. Hold on, just go back to, yeah, up three. Okay, up three. Okay, and if you just put the style, remember, it's back to, I'll just put this here, save changes. Okay, it's back to Lime, okay? But if you put the style in here and you want the ID, okay, so you just go up three, curly brackets, and you say uh, background color um, deep pink. Okay, file, save changes. And there you have deep pink because this here trumps the external one. All right. So I hope um, I hope you've learned something there. Um, I know this probably has rambled on a bit here, but if you don't understand anything what I've gone through there, please get back in touch with us. And also um, with Bootstrap Studio having that problem, uh, it might just be me. You know, uh, it might just be my program, and, and if it is, I'll just reinstall it. Um, but please get back to us to say that because that's pretty basic uh, stuff that shouldn't happen in, a, in, in this app really uh, since they did sort it out. Okay, so thanks very much for watching and thanks for your time.